Hi, I'm Daniel McGrew with EpiRock Product Support for the Underground Rock Excavation Team. Today we'll be calibrating our feed and our boom sensors to our fixed point laser on our E1C DH. This also applies for any of our RCS boomers. So, first you want to take your clear sight. You have two tabs here. They fit nicely into the aluminum feed right here. Get it started, take your mallet. You wanna make sure that it is flush all the way through here. That way it ensures that this is centered up with your feed beam. Okay, now we're installing the front sight. It's the white one without a hole in it. Same thing, line it into the section. Make sure it is flush with the foot right here to ensure that this is in line with the, the other site. Now we are ready to calibrate it to that laser. So what we wanna do is line up our uh, boom and our feed to our laser. So to do, the, do so, go to our menu, go to user, make sure that we're in our SE mode, hit our menu button again, come up to our settings, go to our uh, picture of our boom, and then we go to the first page of our sensors. It'll look like this. First thing we'll do is light up our laser. You'll see a green light come on in the back of the laser. Line the sights up with the laser. If you're having trouble to doing so, you can reduce the boom velocities, which moves everything really slow so that you can make sure that they're right in the center. Once they are, you can come over to calibrate sensors compared to the laser. The laser is a fixed point on the machine. Hit the button, it's gonna double check with you, make sure that you wanna calibrate. Now you've calibrated your boom swing, boom lift, feed swing, and feed tilt. All of these now are in line with your fixed point and your navigation will be complete. Now that our boom and our feed is calibrated to our fixed point laser. Now we can remove the sights. Couple of taps with the hammer. Now we'll remove the rear sight in the same way. Okay, now we're ready to go back to drilling. Thank you for your time and for further assistance please contact EpiRock via a dealer or a service center.